you came. I am a little surprised. I wasn't sure you were going to show. waiting, but I knew it was maybe a long shot, but I'm glad to see you. I know. I know you can't resist a surprise. That's why I had to lure you. There's actually two surprises, <laughs> but we'll get to that. Yeah, I went full Valentine's Day. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I know you hate Valentine's Day, but... <sighs> I just had to break this dress out. I only get to wear it once a year. And you look nice in your typical Valentine's Day uniform. Sweats. <laughs> no, I'm not embarrassed to be seen with you. I mean, as long as they let you in, we're good. <laughs> oh. Thank you for meeting me here. I know you had no idea what you were getting into, so I appreciate it. And I really appreciate you um, canceling your normal Valentine's Day plans of curling up on the couch in sweats and getting takeout and watching horror films. <laughs> I know. Will you let, never let me come over for Valentine's Day? It's always got to be a solitary holiday. So, yeah. I'm glad you came, but I'm a little surprised you showed. Get comfy. You know, order whatever you want. I'm paying. <laughs> Yes, I am. I dragged you out of your warm, comfy house. I didn't drag you out of your comfy sweats, but... <laughs> but you deserve a treat, so don't worry about it. And, um, to that point, I have your first surprise. Um... got you chocolate. <laughs> and I had to get it in a heart-shaped tin because I knew you wouldn't be able to resist the chocolate. But you would be forced <laughs> to partake in this Valentine's Day tradition. Um, I do have to say though, there is a consequence arriving late and that's that I might have eaten a couple of them. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> I said be here to eat. I was sitting here. You should have seen the looks people were giving to me. Just absolute pity. <laughs> All of the couples and me and my dress all by myself eating chocolate <laughs> um, you know if i wasn't dragging you out on your least favorite holiday i would say that you owe me for putting me through that embarrassment but you'd probably get a kick out of it <laughs> mm -hmm. anyway Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for coming here. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm being even weirder than normal. I'm sorry. 
surprise. One more surprise. Um, all right. <sighs> So, I've known you for a long time, and you know how much I care about you. Um, and you know how much I love going to your house, hanging out on the couch, and watching crappy movies and listening to you rant about how ridiculous all the love stories are and how that would never happen in real life. I know what you've been through. I know how badly you've been hurt. And I just want to say that I'm so sorry. Yeah, I know. I know you don't want to get into it, but just, it's important. It's relevant. I promise. Um, you've been screwed over more times than anyone should have to deal with. And it's been really hard hearing you talk about what a joke love is and how people are so fake and how ridiculous you were to think you were in love or to trust anyone. Yeah, it, it's hard, you know. Look, I, I care about you and watching you hurt hurts me. I know, I know that you tell me that you're fine and that you're not hurt, but, um, I look at you when you don't think anyone's watching and I see the hurt there and I just... <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with me, but look, I'm not saying this to say you're a burden or that I don't like you talking about those things. That's not my point at all. My point is you're wonderful. You're amazing. I don't know how anyone could have ever treated you like before. It makes no sense to me. It's like my brain actually can't comprehend it. I can't understand how anyone could have been with someone like you and let you go. How damaged do you have to be to let someone as wonderful and amazing and special as you go? I'm sorry, I, I know I'm rambling and I'm all over the place, but there are these things that I've wanted to say to you for so long, and you build this wall around yourself, you know, and it's really hard to break through that. And I've been scared and I've not wanted to push you out of your comfortable sweats and make you, you know, 
move on. But you know, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> And it's my favorite holiday of the year. Even though I should probably hate it as much as you do. And every year, I don't get to see you. Because you're at home being mad at the world. And I understand, and it's fair, but every year, I just wish that I was with you. I'm sorry, I cannot help who I am. I can't help <laughs> that I'm a hopeless romantic. Emphasis on the hopeless. I can't help that I continue to feel Like it's possible. Like it's possible to be happy with someone else and I... <sighs> All I have to ask you is will you be my valentine? What does that mean? That doesn't have to mean anything. You know, it can just mean that you accept the chocolates and the dinner and spend the next few hours with me and uh, you can be my valentine. But, um, if you want it to mean something else, something more, look, I know this is a lot, and I know that you're so far out of your comfort zone right now, and I know that we're in public, um, but you feel free to get up and leave if you need to, because I'm about to lay some things on you. And those <laughs> things are that I think about you. I think about you every single day. I don't try. Just the thought of you pops into my mind and I think about some little silly thing you said, and I smile. I'll be just cooking dinner, chopping a tomato or whatever, and I find myself smiling just because I'm thinking about you. You know, I... <laughs> when I go to bed, I think about what it would feel like to curl up next to you. Like, I think about how you don't try at all. How you actually try really hard not to try. And how you still just shine in my eyes. Um, <laughs> I'm such a dork, I'm sorry, but I just, it, these thoughts have been building up in me and I feel like a volcano, I just can't take it anymore, so I just need to get it out, and then you're free to go, but I care about you so much, and when you hurt, I hurt, and when you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> When you were telling me about your birthday.
emotion. I love how proud your boss was of you for your latest project. I was over the freaking moon. That was like my best day because you were smiling so much and you looked so happy and I hadn't seen that in so long. <laughs> I just... I'm always going to be happy for you, no matter what, whether you're with me or not. If you never want to speak to me, I'm still going to ask our friends how you're doing and be happy when you're doing well, you know? But look, I mean, there's no other way to say it. I love you. I love you. I know how mad you must be that I am saying this to you on your least favorite day of the year, but this is what I want for you. I want you to breathe the air, to be here with me, to relax, to get the most expensive thing on the menu. I am going to order a bottle of champagne. It's going to pop, and it's going to be exciting, and we are going to applaud, okay? <laughs> we are going to drink champagne. We are going to go dancing. We are going to have the cheesiest, most <laughs> wonderful night. If you'll just let yourself, if you'll just let yourself go a little bit. I know, I know you say you don't know how to dance, but it doesn't matter. That's not the point. It's more fun if you don't know what you're doing anyway. I just want you, I want you to remember that person you told me about. That person that was broken by your past relationships. That person who believed that love was the greatest thing in the world. Who believed that love was <laughs> the only thing that really mattered. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you were really drunk when you <laughs> told me that. <laughs> I know you never would admit it have admitted it to me anyways, but I can see sparks of that person in you. And I want you to feel with your whole heart again. And not for me. Because if I'm not the one for you, then let it be with someone else. But I want you to open your heart again. And I want you to believe in the transformative power of love because you deserve to smile more. You deserve to be happy. And you deserve someone who will never, ever, ever hurt you like those other people did. Okay? I would never, I would never do something to make you sad. I would never leave you. So please, take my hand. Look at the menu. Pick lobster or steak or both and then dance with me. Just give yourself a chance. What do you say? <laughs> I promise I'll 
make it worth your while.